Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a plastic bottle. Okay, I delete the camera and the light. I'm going to use the cylinder. I'm going to delete the default cube, press one for front view, and I'm going to use the cylinder. Doesn't matter how your bottle is going to be high, maybe, maybe uh, your bottle is short or high. It's up to you. Okay, now you have the cylinder there. And first thing we delete is this face there. We don't need this face yet. Okay, delete this face over there. Control R to add loop cut. Add as many as you want. Depends on your liking. I'm gonna add maybe that one would do, and I'm gonna scale it to the Z to to bring this them to bring them closer. Okay, something like that. Grab that to the below. Over, maybe over there. And let's control B to enable it like that. Okay. And it's better if you if you use the subdivision surface now. See the see how it works. Okay. And now I'm gonna right click. Go to make sure you're gonna face select, right click. Extrude face along normal, okay? And you get something like that. Okay. Now we don't need to adjust anything over there. Let's go to here. And I'm gonna make my bottle a little bit shapey. Scale. Weird, weird bottle or something. Maybe a funky bottle. Yeah. And let's go over there. For the, let's go use the bottom now. And it's true scale. Okay. I've got something like that. And now let's extrude that to the Z axis and scale it. Scale there. Make it as small as you can. Okay. And press F to fill. Which, in, which you got the problem there, but add another loop cut, should handle the problem. It's still a problem, but it becomes smaller and smaller and hard to see. Something over there would do. Let's go to pre. Dry shade smooth. Yep, no problem, it's no more. It's still there, but it's hard to see. And below, add another loop cut. Make it flat, but not too flat. This bottle over here is not very flat. Okay, now for the upper, the cap something, I'm gonna extrude that again, scale, oh, let's see the bottle, make it a little bit higher, scale, extrude, that's way too high, it's better to on this one, the on cage, see your bottle, and let's add another loop cut. Make it like that, okay? Let's see the bottle. Yeah, that's something like that. It's not uh, the sh the bottle shape that you want, but well, you can figure out on your own what bottle you want to make, okay? I think my bottle is weird. I'm gonna scale this down, and this one as well. Scale it down. Ah, now it looks looks like a bottle, but I think this is too small. I'm gonna adjust something here. Scale. And this one on along oh, let me zoom along with this one. I'm gonna scale them. And you got something like that. Yeah, that looks like a bottle now. <laughs> Plastic bottle. It's I think. I'm gonna press one. Let's add more loop cuts over here. Oh, let's select this all. That four loop cut. This is gonna be the cap. No need to be uh, hard on this. Just, just do it like this, okay? Okay, a little bit. Grab that to Z. Control B. There. Right click. Make sure in face. Again, you go over here. The face with it. Right click. Extrude face along normal. And you get something like that. Now let's scale those. This one. 
make sure this one before you scale set it to individual origin okay if you don't this is what's going to happen scale z that's what's going to happen okay so it's better if you turn on the individual origin and i'm going to scale that to z and it should be go individual okay make it like that there you have it a simple bottle shape okay now let's paint this for the paint i'm gonna i'm gonna use the transparent no we don't need transparent we can just use this actually color whatever color you like i'm gonna go with green i mean blue Border of blue, I think I'm gonna get green. Nah, I'm blue would do. And the specular, I'm gonna increase the specular because it's bottle. The roughness, well, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I think over there. And if you want to make this some transparent, set the alpha, decrease the alpha. I mean, you got something like that. Now, you don't see anything, right? But when you go in viewport shading, you won't be seeing on EV, but if you go in cycle, you should be transparent like that, okay? And let's increase it a little bit. And that's how you and that doesn't matter how much alpha you want. I'm gonna go with 0.500 would do, I believe. Ah something like that. It's quite dark, but <laughs> you can see that. Okay, now we've paint the bottle. Let's add the cap. Okay, the opener. Yeah, cap. Okay, open, delete the plane. Or accidentally add the plane. <laughs> you can just. You don't have to uh, add another. Well, add another mesh. You can just use this one. Okay, go to edit mode. Sure. Select the object. Go to edit mode. Did you uh just uh, determine? How big is the cap is okay? I believe it's this big. So I'm gonna select this kind of just select the edge there. This one, this one. Ah, this one, okay. Shift D to duplicate, grab this to Z. Go over there. I'm gonna extrude that to the Z. Let me see if it's overlapping. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that would do. And let's give it a second. Strude scale. Grab that over there. Add another loop cut. Should cover like this. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're still overlapping over there. Scale it a little bit. I mean, press L. No, that's not that one. This one, press L. Scale shift set. Okay. Don't have to be that big or something. Okay, now this one. Again, like I did at the bottom. Uh, extrude scale. Make it as small as you can. And fill it. Okay. That's a topology problem there. If you go over here, can you see it? If I shade smooth, can I see it? If you zoom, yes, you can see it, but it's not very visible. Well, let's make it smaller. Go over there. And it shouldn't be very more visible. Okay. There is something, but you need to zoom it even more. <laughs> okay, now let's paint the, the bottle cap there. Go to shading. Oh, go to uh, this one press this one and press l add another color another material new and assign but this one only okay doesn't matter what color you want it's completely up to you i think i'm gonna stick with white now yeah it's the specular i don't need specular but i don't need the and i don't need roughness as well okay now you got something like that. No need to adjust the alpha. Too. Now it would be great if you separate this object. Okay, make sure select the object, press P. I mean, go to ed edit mode, press.
press A, all of them, press B. Separate by loose path. Okay, if you use, if you use the selection, it's still a loose, it's still a separated, but as you select the object, you actually select them all. Okay? I'm gonna press as separate again, press P as a loose part. Now this one, okay. Now that's our border there. Very easy. Very easy, right? <laughs> of course it's easy, it's just a bottle. Okay, so that's how I make my bottle, guys. There are lots of ways of making this, and it's quite fun of making it, okay? You just have to figure out what's best for you, and try it yourself. So, that's all for today. I'll see you next time on the next tutorial, okay? What I'm going to do, I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow, okay? Bye now.